right. What I said to that inspector was, Inspector, with regards to what happened yesterday, you know, bless and all that, but can you tell me why every Wednesday at 10 a.m. without fail, Steve Bray, yeah, Brexit Steve, yeah, is allowed to use abusive language towards police, MPs, in their MP in their faces, we can all see Steve Bray chasing after MPs when they're coming out of their Parliament gates and so on. <laughs> Nigel Adams and all that. He's that man is a danger. Right. Right. But you you let him do it. Now, isn't yesterday's lesson kind of like you keep saying to the people, "We'll review security, we'll do this, and we'll do that." After about a week, it's all forgotten about. And I guarantee you, next Wednesday, Steve Bright will be allowed to set up his music system. Sorry, muscle. And so, hold on, his music system. He's allowed to park his car in a high-risk security area, right? He's allowed to put abusive banners about people, let the bodies pile high and this, that and the other. He swears at you. And when the police went to take his banners down, Steve Bray jumped over, ran towards the police and started swearing at you. And... The police went, oh, oh, sorry, Steve, sorry, sorry. And I'll be up here next Wednesday. And I did point this out before this uh, murder yesterday. And you, you laughed at me and you ignored me. You're not laughing now, are you? Right, so do you think anything could be done this Wednesday? Because it's kind of like you've got, the, you've got the perfect excuse now to move Steve Bray get rid of him. So, so, Russell. You know who it is, Russell. So, you, you know what I'm like, if I hear people being abusive, I'll, I'll speak to them, won't I? I've not, I've not noticed That's that. not the point. No, Steve Bray's still there. Well, but then you can make a complaint about that, can't you? I have made a complaint. Right. To so Westminster Cab Room. Right. And what have they said? They ignored me. Like that, like your inspectors just ignore me. Well, I'm not, I'm not going on you, am I? No, you've been good like that. But it's kind of like Steve. This, this is kind of like you as well, mate. You're an abusive protester. I think I you're think, a danger, mate. That's what I think. Everyone needs to. As I, I heard on the radio yesterday, everyone needs to remember that we should be polite to each other. Of course, it's difficult at times, isn't it? I get that because people, yeah, but when people you, get very Yes, but listen, when you let Steve Bray go on and on for nearly what five, six, seven years now, nearly, yeah, well, and it's every Wednesday, it's kind of like he rules the roost. And yet, you're the police force. Yes. So, service. Service, whatever you call he, it. He's got, he has got the right to be there, hasn't he? But he hasn't got the right to abuse, to abuse MPs. I agree, no one should abuse anyone. And I can, I we can all see what he does on the internet. He's, you know, but that's not going to stop, is it? To the MPs. Because I'll tell you why it won't stop. Because Steve Bray works for you people. Well, I'm not sure he does. Well, for the government, he works for them. If he doesn't work for you people or the government, can you tell me why he's allowed to park his car every Wednesday in between your police vehicle? Uh, because there's, there's something about that because it's not actually Westminster Council property. You can it doesn't it. matter. We're, we're in a heightened state of terror, right? Yeah? But you'll let a rental car park. I, I, I can't get... I can't... Whatever you lot say, I'm not accepting it. I'm not. Because it's kind of like it's piss poor, really. Well, it is. It? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. We're, yes. we're not actually supposed to be here. We're around at the, the Indian High Commission. <laughs> right. We're just coming for a wander. Right. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> see you, Russell. Yeah, that's good. Yeah.